How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. So, I uh, ran around a little bit. I uh, was practicing my parries and stuff like that. Uh, so, I think we can level up here. Let's see. Yep, yeah, and go two levels. Definitely feel like more vitality is. Uh, Way to go for the time being. So, definitely gonna take some getting used to with the game. Um, the movement definitely seems like there's a lot of uh, a lot of freedom of movement, which um, it's not a bad thing. It uh, I don't know. It's different. It just Takes some getting easy. What the hell is going on up here? <coughs> okay. Oh, hey. Ah. Oh god. What's up, dude? was a, uh, I did go back through the area that we went through in the last episode. Um, I did find one of those fire guys that you just saw over there. They were, uh, they were fun. Munition pouch. Okay. Mana stone cluster. What do we got going on in the umbral realm here? Another item in the fire here. Items in the fire. Very familiar concept. At least it's not in a giant pool of lava. I am liking this. Like I said, it just uh, may take some getting used to. Oh, something else here. something else. God damn, dude. Rolling, rolling. That fire out. Is there... No. Looks like there's an item there. Oh boy. Um, if that doesn't say boss fight, I don't know what does. Let me, uh... Right down here, let me go rest since I got all those items. Okay. Another boss. I'm gonna. I have a feeling I'm just gonna mess like so much stuff in this. Because of the dual realms, like, I just have a feeling. So much... ...to get and notice. Yep. Oh, holy Aureus. By your radiance, grant me the strength continue to endure these dark days to lay bare the path to salvation 
for my wayward brothers and sisters. So we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. Oh boy. Is this a lady like... We're not on point there. Fairies right now. Fairy? Fairy?
Oh, she's dead. Oh, man. Whew. All right. Wasn't too bad just getting used to the attacks and, like, trying to get the parry timings. That was a cool boss, though. What is happening? Why does that look like it's moving at like negative 20 FPS? <laughs> Looks like it's just the way it's supposed to be, I guess? That's weird. Okay. Heresy purged. What is this? Oops. Brothers and sisters, you honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering. But I pray my sorcery does. Oh, nice. So that's like a... Like a boss remembrance, if you will, I guess. Oh. Through here, I guess. Ooh, just sanctify. Sounds like a spell. Back in the living. Where the hell is this going? That was definitely a cool boss. Felt very uh, Elden Ring esque. Looks like there's a rest spot there. Vestige. Welcome, Dark Crusader. Hey, it's John Lyle again. <laughs> Dude with the big old hat. Whoa, that was uh, a little jarring. Frame dip there or something. Frame rate in this place is terrible. Let me rest here first. Alright. Alright. What are you gonna I say, have dude? No doubt in my assessment of you. As one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight, and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir was no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. 
Rogar are the uh, the enemies, if I remember correctly, from the previous Lords While of the Fallen. The schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing. She and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now we stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of Adir's destructive influence, and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Five beacons, huh? Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter. So remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Some of these dupes I may sell. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no call the Aureus Mercy. Okay. Uh, so what do you got to buy? Radiant Flare. Eh, uh, need a Radiant Catalyst. So, do you have one? Oh, got a Preacher Hammer. Weapon. Damn, we need 18. Reflect from malevolent energy. Paladin gauntlets. Hmm. I kind of want that, but I don't know where you get a radiant catalyst, though. That's the only problem. That's 500. Yeah, let's get it. Um, heal yourself with Radiance. Eh, screw it, let's get that too. Having a heal on, an extra heal on deck might be useful. By Aureus' divine will, I live again. Oh, it's it's Pieta. And to think I raised my sword to you. When all along you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallowed Sentinels. And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood contained within the sanguinarics you carry. Sanguinarics. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can Saint bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Voice acting is real, really well done. Our holy work continues, Lampbearer. Oh, hell yeah, I can do that. Okay. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus's divine radiance flow through me and into you. Okay. Reset build, huh? So you can respect through her, too. Okay. Right, thanks, Blood Mommy. So the Exactors found himself a new instrument. As Exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall. And yet now here you are, Lamp Bearer. Well, 
It seems I was right to doubt the value of a Dark Crusader's work. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis, a group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed Sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times. As are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further. Or perhaps not. What do you got? Radiance, judgment. Infantry spear. Must be all the uh, starting stuff. Wondering if I should buy a shield. It's a medium shield, okay. It's a light shield. Block protection, 38%. Oh damn, you need 9 agility. Ring of duty. Huh, <laughs> said duty. Um, <laughs> increased vitality, endurance attributes. Um, damn, that's 3,000 though. Okay, that's a medium shield. Bogram's purge key. Damn, 9,500? Shit. Damn. Okay, I'm right to save up to get that. Cause... Our immaculate lady will bring redemption. Clearly, we're gonna need that for something. Crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. Let's watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood, both deserved and undeserved alike. Let's watch a step out there. Mornstead is a. Okay. Are you hiding something back here? What do you got? Aura of tenacity. Uh, that's the throwing rock. So where do you put your spells? Hmm. I will have to investigate that. Melee weapon spells. Aura to now say, surround yourself with a radiant aura which decreases damage received. Okay. Sanctify, plus the ground with holy sigil. Heals and cleanses status effects. Okay. I'll have to find out how to use those. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. <laughs> Ah, oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong. And that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong, much as he might think otherwise. But if in doubt, much as he might think otherwise. Okay, what is this? Those are coins. So you get dice. Okay. 
<laughs> the running is it's pretty funny. It's like zipping around like drrrrp. Uh, did I already talk to you? Yes, I did. Taking a look around the hub here. Looks like a uh, pretty sizable place. Just want to soak it all in here, find out where everything is. Bridge key, whatever that is, and wherever that is. Just said before, this is uh, definitely gonna have a steep learning curve, I feel like. Very, very different than. Any other souls lurk, especially with the uh, the dual worlds, which is, you know, I think probably uh, for me like the most intriguing part of the game. Where are the places to go here? Like, yeah, there is. Oh, wait. That's where, I, yeah, that's where I came from. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I came down there. I feel like there's more in here. this what the hell I like how the uh, there's haptic feedback when uh, you get somewhere where you interact with your lamp um, so I think we need to do this The oh. lamp must be born until the favored child makes themselves known. Only then can the remaining carrion of creation finally return to the void. Okay. Oh. Chosen Purchase. of the lamp. Like you, I serve. Oh, uh, so this is like umbral magic. Oh shit. We're all scouring. Switching your Increase your inferno and radiance to gain further insight, huh? Okay. Figure skills. What? Grants 3200 vigor and it costs 6,000? <laughs> Increase your inferno and radiance, okay. Um, consumables, okay. Until right. her embrace. Socket, dead umbral eye. Um, what is this? Ah. Okay. 
that's cool. Don't think I can do that. Need a antiluvian chisel. Okay. And a socket. Two soul flay charges, one secondary umbral eye socket, 10% dread resistance. Okay, so we will need to find one of those. That's cool, man. It's like an NPC hiding an umbral in the uh, in the hub. That's crazy. Okay, so huh? All right. You get more dies in there too. All right. Should be able to upgrade here. We just rest and get out of Umbral. Okay. I wish actually, um, like when you rest, like the menu still stayed up. Like it's kind of it seems silly. You gotta do an old button press to go back into the into the menu. It's just a nitpick, I guess. Okay, so we can do. I'm going to stop at 20 for now with Vit and then probably do Endurance and then start on Strength and Radiance. Okay. Alright. Now where was that? Uh, I saw another dude talk to. Is he down here? Yeah. Whoa. Look at this. Ah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, the lamp of immortality. And the genuine article. Not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. Truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andrea Soveb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Antanas himself, as proven by my family's book of lineage for one. That's right, through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied Adir and the Rogar and saved the whole world only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. My offer stands as long as necessary. After all, what man of breeding would turn away from one so clearly in need? My offer stands, after okay. all. Alright. Well, that seems like a good place to stop, probably. Um, we have beaten the first official boss, I guess. And, um... Explored the hub area. So, still very different. I am liking it. Uh, we will continue this on a daily basis. Uh, probably one video per day, considering we still have... Uh, like I said, it's going to be a bigger, a busy October. We still have um, the walkthrough for Liza P rolling out. And then next week, uh, going to be doing Spider-Man. So, uh, it's going to be a full plate. Um, so, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned. Mark, I'm going to Take care.